Hi, this is Dr. Donald Pelto. I'm going to show with this video how to debride a wound. You see around the wound there's this white callus tissue that comes all around it and that's the that's from the pressure buildup around the bottom of the room. This is the red portion, the red beefy healthy portion. Every time a patient comes in we actually have to trim off this this callus tissue. This is what's important to to get a wound to heal. You can't leave this portion on here. Now this doesn't hurt the patient because it's this patient has neuropathy but even if they didn't have neuropathy this uh, this is just removing callus. It's not actual maybe this as he's as he's groaning <laughs> up front right it's not hurting but I guess it is so sometimes it just hurts a little bit but for the most part it, it doesn't hurt that much so you, you do the first time with that and then let me grab something else over here and then I'm going to grab a 15, a razor blade here, and then I want to get it down to about the same height as the skin around the area. See all this callus? And then the next key, after we remove this down, is we have to find the best way of offloading offloading this foot. Now just as an example, this is how it was, and he already had one surgery. And if you look over on this other foot right here, this foot recently healed from a, a wound that was open for a long time. He's had a couple of surgeries here. We had to take out a big portion of the bone here to get this healed, but finally it's healed. So we hope that this one, now we're going to work on this one to get it healed.